a whistleblower complaining against President Trump. Okay, that's about what I expected. Now, for those of you who don't know, according to FineLaw.com, a whistleblower is a person who reports illegal activity within their company or government. This particular complaint concerns a phone call President Trump had with the Ukrainian president, President Volodymyr Zelensky, which occurred on July 25th. It's important that we analyze this situation because it is related to the upcoming presidential election. I've looked at Democratic, Republican, and relatively neutral news sources, and in my speech, I'm going to go over both parties' arguments as well as summarize a few key takeaways of the whole situation. Democrats believe that the complaint shows that Trump violated some laws. The transcript of the phone call, which was recently released by the White House, does show that most of the allegations in the complaint are true. Specifically, that according to Washington Post, Trump used the phone call to advance personal interests by requesting that Zelensky investigate the actions of former Vice President Joseph Biden in his efforts to protect his son's Ukrainian business. The complaint also states that the White House went to measures to load the phone call transcript rather than into a storage system usually used for such trans transcripts. They put it into a, trans a system that stores information of a highly classified nature, which is interesting. Now, as to how Trump violated laws, according to Bloomberg.com, U.S. laws and regulations say that it's illegal to accept or solicit foreign aid to assist in a federal election. Now, it's interesting to note that President Trump did cancel the U.S. aid to Ukraine about a month before the call, and considering that Biden is one of Trump's main political opponents in the election, Many people believe that Trump was essentially blackmailing Zelensky into helping him dig up political dirt on Biden. Republicans see, Republicans see a different side of the story, however. They believe that Trump did nothing wrong in relation to the phone call. They point, to, they point out the fact that ever since previous private calls between Trump and leaders of Mexico and Australia were publicly leaked, Trump's private calls with foreign leaders have been placed into this highly classified uh, storage system. Also, Republicans point out that Biden himself did acknowledge that he successfully pressured Ukraine to fire its prosecutor who was looking into his son's business. So Trump was asking Zelensky to investigate a legitimate claim. Now, with both of these, view, with both of these viewpoints in mind, here are a few conclusions that we can draw from the whole situation. It appears that Trump is using the power of his office to solicit favor for the 2020 election, which could be considered breaking a few laws especially cons considering that Zelensky probably feels pressured to cooperate with him since Trump is withholding U.S. aid to Ukraine. However, a Justice, Justice Department review of Trump's, con Trump's conduct has found nothing criminal as of yet. That wraps up my speech, and I would like to end by reminding you to all listen to both sides of a story before making your judgment. Thank you.